This now is Williams. Makinson's chasing after this. Connor's underneath it as well. Oh, it's a brilliant take by Makinson. Stumbling. It's still the sixth tackle. Pops it over the top. Dragged down. Whitehead picked up by Lomax. Out it goes. And it's going to be Sam Tompkins who opens the scoring with less than three minutes played. The referee confirms. What a start for England. Tompkins, the scorer. Well, it's an absolutely brilliant start for England. Precise kick. You hang the kick up there so you can compete for it. And that's what happened. And what a brilliant take by making certain he gets the offload in. And they had the numbers on the right hand side and they had the score. In the England scored for the first time since the 2014 at Four Nations. Combination of a loss of form and injury, keeping him out of the international scene. Connor with a kick. And that'll be popular, the whole player puts it over. Bromwich, Jesse Bromwich, Smith out of dummy half. Now it comes back to Johnson with the inside ball. Oh, that's delicious. Play, play. Absolutely delicious. Masters on the end of it. Wonderful opening of that England defence. Their lock unpicked. And New Zealand have a response. Now, this is one of the advantages of having that game against Australia two weeks ago. You get an extra two weeks with time on the ball. That was definitely a set play. They, they took the ball to the 30-metre mark, which is what they call it in, in rugby league, where they split the field into 100%. It's a 30% mark, and then they had numbers and movement. This and Masters come from the blind side. He tracked Sean Johnson around. Uh, their players going all the way through inside ball. And it was obviously, it was left as a try. So here's Johnson looking to add the two and square things up again here. He's drilled it towards the target and he's uh, certainly found that target. Ole, Wayne Bennett looking on. There, Oscar nominee oh, Jamie Peacock alongside him. Out. As New Zealand have six tackles here in the closing ten minutes of oh. this first half. Watini Zalesniak, the young skipper, like a hot knife through English butter. That is New Zealand have their second. That is all about Pierce. Just watch Nikarima. He takes the line on, he gets on the outside of his man. And what a brilliant, brilliant run, run by Zalesniak. Watani Zalesniak. That's just too simple, really. Too quick. It's very, very simple from, from the strum on the first tackle. And Sean Johnson with a tough one from the sidelines, but um, he's more than capable. And that's uh, pretty, uh, pretty picture perfect, isn't it, in terms of where he wanted it to go and where it did go. So Williams, Hill, Tompkins, this is looking livelier now. Bateman cuts in from that right hand side. This is a way to Whitehead, his quick hands find Williams, and Williams now to Connor. Connor carries! And Jay Connor on home soil might just be over. But the Kiwis have got defensive smiles on their faces. I think Johnson reckons he's been held up, the referee reckons he's got it down. OK, the ball is still in his possession. Now that is a foul, first of all, by the New Zealand number one. OK, now jog this on. Does the ball hit the ground? The ball is up there. I can clearly see it's up there. It's still up. It's still up. It's still up. Right, I've got a decision, Robert. Because there is a foul, I'm giving a penalty try. Uh, if the ball doesn't get grounded, so it's a penalty try under the post. Well, here we go, penalty try. So, Ben Thaler clearly absolutely certain that Jake Connor would have scored that had Watini Zalesniak not slid into him with the knees. I think he's, but, uh, uh, look, there, there is a rule. If, if the knees, if any part of the leg hit the head in the act of scoring a try, then um, referees really do go down hard upon that. Well, Connor sticks it over. It started and finished well from England's point of view. There were some scruffy moments in between and two flashy tries for the Kiwis as well. It's 12 points apiece at half-time. Well, Bromwich takes over that role. A couple of plays to go. Johnson with a step. Johnson 
flailing arms can't make a telling impact. Not this time. Hill gets a hole and pulls him down. And um, given a penalty, oh, that's a shame. That's two points. And they made a double change here. There's been a switch in Burjai. George has come off and uh, Tom's back on. And James Graham has come off. Oh, sorry, James Graham has come on. And Chris Hill has gone off. And New Zealand with a penalty that makes 12 for England, 14 for New Zealand. Thompson. Whoa, his head snaps back as he hits the shoulder. That's one inch. That was one inch. Williams with a short pass. Whitehead held up. Plenty on him, making sure he can't offload. Oh. Penalty. Well, I thought Whitehead was worried there that he'd actually given a, a knock on against himself, but he decides there was a penalty there first. Well, this to make it all square again, and he seems to have got it okay. Yes, he has. Flags go up in confirmation. And it is all square again, 14 points apiece, 25 big minutes to go here. So now they're on the last, what do they do? Run, that's been their style, Watini Zalesniak takes it in, great pass away, Mamala kicks it back towards the middle, the referee says play that penalty for offside, England, New Zealand get the advantage again. Johnson with the kick to just edge his side again, ahead. And he looks as though he's hit it well. Yes, he has. Again, the flags are up. And New Zealand again have the lead at 16-40. Whitehead, who's been impressive. McGilfrey looking for a big carry. Here's Clark. Hudson's still on the field. Bateman twisting away. But he's got it away. And here's a chance now. Suddenly the break is on. Gilda. Sizes up his man and goes round his man. What a try! What a debut try that is! Put oh, put that in the memory bank. Never forget that moment, Oliver Gildart. That was huge. A piece of English magic. And it's England who are back in the lead. Jonathan Bateman there ties in three defenders, goes into contact. They're all climbing all over them. He gets the ball away to Gildart, and then he does all the work to stand up the fullback and finish it off. Great, great try. Two tackles to go. Smith now. Here it is with Nikarima. Caught by the collar. Into the hands of Johnson. This is the fella. England have to watch him. Johnson begins to skip. Looks, puts the kick in. Chases after it. Drops on. Referee says, play on. And with nine seconds left, it's England's game. Connor knows that, he's going to be slow to his feet, the England fans are suddenly aware of that, the ball's going to be played, nothing is going to be taken, no risk, 